Yeah, so there, the event has been canceled here um, at Hike, Bike, and No Paddles, what I'm going to call it. But Sylvia has a way, if you still want to get out on the water, a way you can figure out how to do so safely. Sylvia, how is that? Yeah, absolutely. So you can always check in with uh, MSD online. Uh, they usually uh, will update it daily on the conditions of the water. Um, right now, the Ohio River, uh, while it is very magnificent, um, the truth is, is that safety remains our number one priority with this event. Uh, with Ida, it has unfortunately impacted the bottom pool uh, of the locks and dams. So you can imagine as a paddle enthusiast, I was gutted to not be able to go through the locks and dams myself um, today. But you are seeing about 15 feet of extra water at that lower end of the locks and dams. And it's a, just a little bit uh, uncertain to really risk it at this point. You guys are still, you know, have a presence here at the hike, bike, and paddle event, though. What do you want people to learn from you today? Absolutely. Um, River City Paddle Sports, we remain an education-focused uh, 501c3. We're volunteer-led. So what you can do is you can come on down here today. We have amazing uh, paddling and walking maps. So, for example, since the paddling portion is closed, um, you can still come and see uh, a good walking path for how to navigate here down on Beargrass Creek. Nice and we're looking at some of these paddles that were made actually by volunteers here and then this boat too. Do you want to tell me the story? Absolutely. One of our board members um, all during the winter, you know, COVID had a lot of us indoors and if you tried to purchase a boat yourself last year, you noticed that almost all of them <laughs> were sold out. Yeah. So, uh, Braxton um, and his uh, grandfather, Scott Whitmore, uh, they actually built their own. That um, is amazing. It's a cool little project project, right? It is so <laughs> cool just to think about the talent and the patience that that took is incredible. Yes. Listen, if you want to learn more about River City Paddle Sports or how you can actually get on the water at some point, they can help you out with that. Um, they're going to have a table set up here at the Community Boathouse, which is also a new location for hike, bike, and paddle this year. Um, so it's an opportunity for you to get out here, get active, um, and just enjoy a nice day outside on this Labor Day. Keywords, Matt. Nice day. Nice We're looking day. forward to it. Right. Nice and day. the weather for it is going to be absolutely fantastic. We've been